Welcome to quarter one 2023 update for high value homes here in the Chester area. Today we're going to talk about four things. We'll talk about the surprising results from the Boxing Day launch. We'll also talk about insider information into the market and what's happening at the moment. We'll also cover four key drivers to get you the best possible price. And then we'll finish off with our crystal ball prediction for the rest of the year. Okay, you ready for some stats? I am. Boxing Day? Get ready. Okay, so we launched six properties on Boxing mm. Day. Very, very busy. Um, across those six properties, we had an average of 11 viewings each. Yes. And we had 12 offers. Um, from those 12 offers, we now have five agreed sales. And importantly, we agreed those at 101 0.5% above asking price. So that was quite successful. That's incredible. So it feels like we're in a very different place to the end of 2022. Things aren't perfect by any means, but we're certainly in a, a period, relative period of stability compared to events at the end of last year. Very much. A little bit less turmoil in the market. So that's a positive sign uh, for buyers and sellers at the moment. Yeah, I think also the, the mortgage rates, the fact that they do seem to have stabilised, there's much more coming to the market, um, that certainly have a very positive impact on the market too. Yeah, and demand is down. Um, mm. It's down on last year, without a doubt, but only by a small number of percentage points. Yes. Um, but if you look back to 2019, it's higher than 2019, so it's not the doom and gloom that you think. And if we think about the valuations, the meetings that we've been having in the last couple of months. That's twice as much than we did this time last year and three times as many meetings that we did the previous year. So yeah. there, are the, 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 there are properties coming to the market and I think that's a really positive sign. Yes, me too. So four key drivers to achieve the best possible selling price. Firstly, timing is really important. A lot of people are holding off till springtime because of gardens, but in actual fact, if you bring your property to market just before spring, at the very, very start of spring, in actual fact, it can be a less crowded market, so could actually um, work out quite well in that regard. Yeah, second tip, marketing, and I think the last couple of years, um, you could get away with less than top quality marketing. Let's just say the demand was out there. If you put a house up for sale, people would arrive and view. I think now with less buyers around, it's more important than ever to make sure that the marketing is absolutely top. So your home does stand out from the rest of the crowd and does attract those people who are out there looking to buy. Absolutely. And I think the third tip is presentation. We do offer home styling um, consultations and you know the, it's amazing how actually if you do um, style your home you know that can really make a tremendous difference. So the last point is pricing. I think in this market but is price sensitive. There has been yeah. small correction in prices. It's really important when you're having your house value to make sure it's a sensible and realistic price to attract any buyers that are out there at the moment. So our predictions for the rest of the year. Certainly the year started very, very promisingly. January, very busy. We're into February and the demand is still there. Of course, as we go into spring, we're going to find more homes come to market. So it could be a little bit tougher to the, for the properties on the market um, because of supply and demand. But the future looks really bright. Yeah, it certainly does. If we can help with any element of your house move, please do reach out to John or I. Indeed, any of the team would be delighted to help you. Our telephone number is 01244 313 900. Thank you so much for watching.